Story time with Fergie and friends. I hope you've all written your letters and posted them because, yes, Santa Claus is coming to town. Not that I can sing. So this is a Christmas Eve tale. Oh, how exciting. And it's by C.F. Draper. And illustrations are by L.S. Rowe. As you read this magical tale, you can count the number of mischievous mice hmm, on, on each page. Well, I think we might. We don't have time, will we? <gasps> Once upon a time in a house just like yours and mine stood a beautiful and very large Christmas tree. The tree was so tall, <gasps> it almost touched the ceilings and its branches were covered to the most wonderful decorations. <gasps> Look, how exciting. <sighs> Every Christmas Eve, something extraordinary would happen when the house was still and quiet. The decorations would come to life. A snowman that was hooked on a branch stretched out his arms and legs and yawned. Oh, yeah, yawn. Blinking and rubbing his eyes, he gazed around the room. A wooden toy soldier stood to attention and arranged his rifle. A lantern switched on its light, sending a warm glow around the room. And at the top of the tree, the Christmas tree fairy fluttered her wings, sending a shower of silver glitter onto the presents below, just like the first snowfall of winter. The snowman, who was now fully awake, looked up at the Christmas tree fairy. Maybe this year, thought the snowman, a wave of excitement came over him and his eyes began to sparkle. Oh, he unhooked himself from the branch above and jumped down hmm, onto the bauble below. Almost slipping, he grabbed some tinsel and hauled himself up. Oh no! He had just a few hours in the night to reach the top of the tree before the sunrise to be with his best friend, the Christmas tree fairy. Come on, snowman. Looking up, he could see her smiling down at him. She looked a long way away this year. No, the owners of the tree had hung him much lower down than usual and he wondered if he would ever reach her. Every year he would clamber up the tree, climbing all the obstacle as he went. <gasps> Taking a deep, big, deep breath, he began his journey stretching out his little legs. He hopped over the next, onto the next branch and the next and the next. Oh no, passing a swinging star, a pine cone dipped in gold paint and a bag of gold chocolate coins. <gasps> here he is, how amazing. I see a cat and a mouse here. He eventually had to stop for he had come to a very old Christmas tree, Christmas tree decoration. It was a small red and silver house. The snowman had not seen this house before and he wondered if anyone lived there. Looking in through the windows, he could see Santa Claus. Santa saw the snowman and smiled. Hello, little snowman, said Santa Claus. What brings you to my house? Uh, well, I was just passing by, said the snowman. I'm on my way, of course, to meet my best friend, the Christmas tree fairy. Of course, of course he was, yes. Ah, I see, replied Santa. And how are you going to get all the way up there? Hmm, pointing to the top of the tree. They both looked up. Oh, yes, it was a very long way. Well, said the snowman, the only way I know how to climb up all the decorations, swinging myself up onto the branches and climbing up the tinsel. Oh my goodness, sounds like a lot of hard work to me, said Santa. I only have a few hours left to go to the top, said the snowman. <gasps> oh no. Meanwhile, the top of the tree, the Christmas fairy fluttered her wings and even more glitter shimmered down the tree. Tiny sparkly flakes fell on Santa and the snowman. And the snowman held out his hand to each of the falling stars. See, said the snowman, she knows I'm on my way. I hope, I hope you reach her before morning, said Santa. The snowman set off again, clambering over Christmas crackers, this little, his little legs sliding down the side of the red glistening paper. <gasps> no, do you think he's going to get there to the top of the Christmas tree? Wee, whoosh, whiz. Oh, look, there he goes. He's not going to get there, I don't think. He passed more baubles and bags of gold chocolate coins when suddenly there in his path huh, was a brand new tree decoration. It was an ice skater yeah. and she wore a beautiful pink dress. Her long legs stretched out beneath her and there on her feet were little pink skating boots. She looked sad. <gasps> What's the matter? asked the snowman. I want to go ice skating. Well, of course she does. She's an ice skater. She replied, but I'm stuck in this tree and I can't get down. And the snowman replied, why don't you climb down? 
Hmm. The fairy lights that they lead to the floor. The ice skater looked at the snowman and grinned. They do, she said. Hmm. The, the, the fairy lights lead to the floor. Yes, she said in her amazement and grabbing hold of the wire, she began to weave her way down the tree. Thank you, thank you, she called as the snowman peered down the tree. The snowman continued on his life journey. He was almost near the top when the wooden toy soldier appeared. Um, from behind a glowing lantern. Yeah. Who goes there? Said the soldier in a booming voice. Oh, it's, it's only me, said the snowman. I, I'm on my way to see my best friend. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Not today or not. No, responded the soldier. What do you mean not today? I do this journey every year, replied the snowman. What's, what's different this year? Captain's orders. I cannot allow anyone to walk any further on this branch because it's about to break in two. Well, I'll just have to climb up the t this tinsel instead. I'll give you a leg up, said the soldier. And at last he had reached the top of the tree. He stopped to catch his breath. <gasps> Look at that. Oh, she's red-headed, our little fairy. Looking up, he saw his best friend, the beautiful Christmas tree fairy, who looked more glittery and sparkly than ever before. She smiled her biggest smile and stretched out her arms to greet him. Look, there she is. Yay! Well done, Christmas fairy. But outside, the sun has started to rise. <gasps> oh no, it was now Christmas Day morning. Yes, it was too late. The snowman and the Christmas tree fairy had frozen still. <gasps> yeah, I know. That's very serious. They could now feel the rumble of children's feet coming down the stairs. They could hear their laughter and squeals of delight as they entered the room. Rumble, rumble, rumble. The children ran over, the, over to the tree and began to pass around all the Christmas presents. <gasps> yep, they do. Except one little boy who had noticed the Christmas tree fairy and the snowman at the top of the tree. They were looking at each other. The fairy's arms were stretched out as though she wanted to hug the snowman. The little boy picked up the snowman and moved him into the arms of the Christmas tree fairy. Oh, what a nice boy. Yeah. That's so nice. Did you find the little mice throughout the story? We wish you a very, very Merry Christmas, says the fat cat. Ha! <laughs> he doesn't really. I just made that up, girls and boys. But I like the little boy. That I like that little boy that put the Christmas tree fairy and the snowman hugging each other because that's a very nice end to this lovely story. So a very happy mer Merry Christmas and a very happy New Year. And may all your wishes and dreams come true. And let's hope that 2021 is a beautiful and wonderful fantastic year and lots of mice for lots of cats to chase around the tree with Fergie and friends with Fergie and friends